My name is, oh, I ain't turned my phone off yet, have I? Silent mode, that's my name. That poster keeps falling off the wall. I've done it four times, just trying to set up this video. So if it does it again, I might flip out, but we'll cross that bridge if and probably when it comes. Now I've got that out of the way. Hello, my name is Danny Fried. I wish I ate vegetables every single day of my life, but I didn't. I ate processed food, junk food and sweets every day. And now I've got to have a camera shoved right up my ass. So here's the deal. I was in a lot of pain for a long time. My belly was killing me. I didn't know what it was. As a bloke, I just thought, forget about it. Don't worry about it. But it got really bad. So I did what most blokes never dare to do. I went to the doctor. <laughs> I wish I didn't because the doctor said, okay, Danny, no problem. We'll just shove a camera right up your ass. I was like, what? No, I don't know. Can, can you not do like an x-ray or something? He was like, no, no. Like we just shove a 20 meter camera up your ass. Learn from my mistakes, eat healthy, drink lots of water because this ain't nice. Most of the videos on this channel, I'm going to be telling you stories from my life that have already happened. This one's going to be a little bit different because this is a story of the future and I'm going to guide you through it. And this is a week before. So today is Tuesday. I'm having the camera up the Jaxi Palmer on Saturday. Today is the first day of my new diet. I haven't even looked at it yet. So I thought we could go through it together because I don't know what I can eat. I, I might just not eat nothing because I'm not allowed to have any poo in my butt. If there's poo in my butt, they ain't gonna put a camera up my butt because of all the poo. So I've got to like, just, honestly, I can't even believe this is, I, I mean, I can believe it's happening because this is me. I'm Danny Fried, I fried it, didn't I? Sometimes I wish I wasn't Danny Fried. Sometimes I wish I was Danny didn't fry and he was the one shoving cameras up other people's asses. But no, <laughs> uh, uh. in better news, I've got a bouncy ball. Well, I did have a bouncy ball, it's over there now. I'm so hungover. The reason I'm hungover is because since the day the doctors told me I've got to have a camera up my butt, the anxiety and the fear has like been boiling up. So I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna get drunk and I've been getting drunk and See what I mean? Told you that would happen. It looks shit now. It looks absolute. Look, look. I'm trying to do a professional job here as a YouTuber and I can't because I can't even stick a poster to the wall. It's come off the wall five times. Five fing times. You stupid fing. Let's try and put it back on. So, yeah, like the magnet is meant to go in there. Get on there. It looks alright, yeah, but it's chip. It's just. Keeps falling off the wall, and I've got to have a camera up my ass, so I'm not in the best of moods. All right? Yeah. So, what is it like to have a colonoscopy? I'm so dumb. Like, I'm a YouTuber, so I should be good with words, but my vocabulary is terrible. I can say eggs. Yeah! Cat. Yeah! Vocabulary. Colonoscopy. Nah. Why do they call it colonoscopy? Why don't they just call it what it is? Turn the up the old Jackson. You might tell I'm a little agitated at the moment because I'm scared. I'm anxious. But the point I want to make is it's important. If you've got symptoms and, and I'm hoping that when I have it, it ain't going to be that bad. So I can tell you guys about it so you don't put it off. I've been trying to put it off loads. I keep saying to the doctor, look, I'm better now. Since they told me that they needed to do that, I go, oh, I'm better now. Everything's fine. And they were like, no, Danny, stop trying to weasel your way out of this i said no i'm fine I, I, honestly i'm not in agony every single day of my life and they went no look we know what you want us to say you want us to say you don't have to have this procedure yeah that that is what i want them to say but they're not going to say it and they haven't been saying it my dad is like danny you've got to have this and i'm like would you have it going yeah 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 not a problem yeah liar 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 my dad's 60 yeah i've been watching loads of videos about this procedure every video says if you're over 50 you should get one of these done just to be safe so i told my dad that he's I ain't having a camera shoved up my ass. I'd rather not. Thank you very much. I said, I told you. I told you. I knew you would say that. I was testing you. He doesn't care what goes up an ass as long as it ain't his ass. Now that's, don't even get me started on that. I'm just really having a bad time. So what is a colonoscopy? A colonoscopy is when somebody gets a camera with a little light and they tunnel 20 meters up your ass and they can tell if anything dodgy is going on. And I'm like, oh, great. The reason I'm having this done is we went to the river. I thought there'd be toilet facilities. There wasn't. It was just a river. Lucky my mate brought his bucket because if he didn't, if he didn't bring his bucket, I don't know where the hell I was going to be. Sh 
And the problem was there was people everywhere. So I'm sitting there like this. Everybody's having so much fun. They're enjoying themselves, laughing, galloping, jumping in the river. I'm just sitting there just like, oh my God, I'm going to myself. And my friends were worried about me. Are you right, Danny? You all right, mate? I was like, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Felt like there was a nest of wasps up my ass. Thank God for this bucket. I had to um, crawl into a bush full of thorns and, and like have a look around and I could hear people having fun and I was sitting there couldn't even fit me balls and knob in it yeah so I'm sitting there having the worst time of my life my ass is in this bucket and then a wasp I'm not even joking yet yeah? a wasp comes and lands and do you know where it lands yeah that's it right on my belly that's where the fucking shit yeah great so I, I, I'm, I'm now shitting in a bucket I've got a wasp on the end of my knob I'm, I'm just having a terrible time it was that point where I decided I should go and see a doctor that poster's staying up Nicely, isn't it? So a few of my mates text me the next day like, Danny, you didn't look right at the river. Everybody was having fun. Why were you all like in a bucket? <laughs> So they were like, go to the doctors. So I went to the doctors and I thought they were going to maybe like open up my arsehole a little bit <laughs> with their fingers. <laughs> Have a little look inside. Go, nah, you're all good. Didn't know about this 20 metre wire going up my arse. Apparently this cable is really long. I don't even like f up my arse. So let alone 20 metre cables. <laughs> What else do I want to talk about? Yeah, so, come on, I was gonna see. I thought, like, can you, like, put me under? Can you put me to sleep? They were like, nah, you gotta be wide awake. Why? I wouldn't be scared if I was asleep. Anyone can do anything to my ass if I'm asleep. If you're watching and you find me asleep, please don't do anything with my ass. But as, as far as, like, doing things with my ass, if I was asleep, I would much prefer it that way. But they won't put me to sleep. They said they can give me a little bit of sedative. Well, great, cheers, thanks. But anyway, they've sent me a list of stuff I can and can't eat. Some kids ringing me. It's mm, actually my ex-girlfriend. Should I answer it? Mm, why not? Hello? 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 That's a f***ing waste of time. Oh, no, hello? Hello? Hello, you all right? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you hung up on me. Why are you saying a fing waste of time? What do you mean? Who are you with? Uh, just stop. Nah, just YouTube. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Um, oh, wow. So, have you heard back from the doctors? Yeah, I've got to have a camera up my ass on Saturday. So, I was oh just. Oh, my God. Yeah. Let's hear what you can have. Okay. Have okay. Me. So, they've got yes and no. Nuts, beans, and pulses. None. Yes. <laughs> yeah, none. It just says none. <laughs> so you can't have them? No, not one. Nut, bean or pulse. You can't have nuts, beans or pulses? <laughs> no. Bitch, what? They're like the healthiest things on the planet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm a Moroccan tagine out of the window. What do you want next? <laughs> I can't eat nothing. No soup no, with you bits. Can't. Jack, That's not. A bummer, mate, they're really nice Did you mean that? That's no, a bummer. No, Did you mean that? Is that a pun? No, that's a bummer, you actually said that. A <laughs> bummer! <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> of course you didn't. Oh. It's the problem that you're having too many poops. Because <laughs> maybe that's why they're doing it. This is a conversation I never thought I'd have with you, but like, when the hell, go back 15 years, if I knew this is what we were going to head to, what's. <laughs> Is the problem you're having too many poos? <laughs> Honestly, my life at the moment is just next level. Somebody said to me the other day, said the day they said, Danny, don't worry about having a bad time. Worry that you'll enjoy it too much. Yeah, worry about having a good time. Yeah, and they said, like, that's made me worried as well. What if I love it and I can't stop shoving things up my ass? Yeah, like I get a massive woody. Oh, dear. That's probably not the first time it would have happened, though. Oh, I'm having a bad day. I haven't even put my makeup on. As you can see, I'm not in my normal. St oh, no, my hat. Oh, no, that ain't good. Oh, sh. One sec. So, I'm meant to be taking you through the different stages of a colon. It's like day three of my new diet. And the ironic thing is, um, a lot worse because i think all the foods that are on the list are the things that make me have the problem so do i give up all i've been eating is white bread and white pasta oh i can have tomato soup so mix all that about inside me shake me about what do you get yes it a splashing butt 
Tonight is the first night I'm taking some of these things. It's safe to say I am not looking forward to it. God knows what they're gonna do. I'll probably be having a really bad time. Look after yourself because this ain't fun. I'm only 34. I'm scared of what they're gonna find, but if I can raise awareness for people with butt issues and make it less embarrassing to just stick your legs up in the air or, or get on all fours i don't really know what position they're gonna put me in all i know is that they are going right up there and they're gonna tell me what's wrong and, and there's nothing to be ashamed of or embarrassed we've all got arseholes some people even have three arseholes but they're from pluto anyway guys i'm gonna go to sleep now and hopefully i won't myself in my dreams i'll save that for the morning goodbye for now <laughs> You guys are gonna have to bear with me with this makeup malarkey. Today is Friday, I just done my makeup again. I need a makeup man, woman, person to do my makeup because I look like a, what's that guy from the Adams family? Yeah, I look a bit like him. So sorry about that, but this is a work in progress. This is only the second video I've ever done wearing makeup. Back to the colonoscopy. Today is the day before the big day. The day I have been dreading, the day they go inside, and not Bo Burnham style. I don't think the video they're gonna shoot is gonna be up for any awards. Anyway, the days up to now haven't been so good. I've changed my diet completely. I haven't been eating like fruit and veg things that I usually eat to stop the cramps I get. I've been eating basically tomato soup and mashed potato. The reason being, if you turn up and you haven't done this cleansing thing, right they can say no sorry mate go home come back another day i don't want to come back another day i want to get this done once and only once and that's it i'm out so they've given me this the finisher Finish i like doing that <laughs> it's morning time and i've got 150 milliliters of water although i didn't measure it it's just a complete guess now i have two sachets of pico lax one for the morning and one for bedtime apparently i'm going to be pooing myself all day so let's mix this stuff into the water Doesn't really smell like anything. I've got a little mixy McGee, so I'm gonna pour it in and I'm gonna give it a little mixy mix. This cup's not big enough to give it a proper mix. It's on that. Man's got a spoon. Can't wait to drink this. Apparently, it's absolutely delicious. How can a little glass of water mixed with some random powder make me shudder with fear? I don't know who's scared more, my tongue or my bummer. Right, the time is 9.43. Place your bets in the comments what time I'm gonna need my first whoopty whoop. Probably 9.46. Cheers. Delicious. I've tasted Granny's arse. It's tasted better than that. <sighs> it's not that bad. I've just got to finish it. Let's do it. So that's the morning dose done. Apparently today is going to be horrible. I'll see you guys a bit later. Wish me luck because tomorrow is the big day, but today seems like a big day. All the days are big days at the moment. I don't like big days. I want little tiny days. I've had that Lewis Capaldi song stuck in my head all night. It goes counting days, counting days till they're going to shove a camera up my ass. Out, out, out. You know the one. The one thing I am really glad of is I don't live in the 80s. Do you remember how big the cameras used to be back then? Imagine having one of them shoved up your jacksie. Thank God for modern technology and their tiny little cameras. This is the instrument we use to examine the colon. Although I still think they're a bit too big. Make them smaller. Pick and lax possible side effects. Allergic reaction. No, that's just my makeup. Difficulty breathing. No, that's all right. Confusion. I'm always confused. That's just normal. Abdominal pain. Of course I've got abdominal pain. Otherwise I wouldn't be getting this done, would I? Vomiting. Very common. Oh, great. It's going to be coming out both ends. <laughs> Great! I ain't looking forward to today. See you guys in a bit. <laughs> 10 past 10. What's that, like 14 minutes? It all happened so quick, I didn't have time to get my proper camera. That's why I had to film on my other phone. I hope you enjoyed the fear in my face. <laughs> I was going to keep the camera on for, you know, the whole thing, but I thought, hang on, no, no. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, no. 
My lift has arrived. Why? I had not one but two dreams last night of the procedure and I woke up thinking it was done both times. It was so real. They took me in and they all calmed me down. I was like, give me your strongest drugs. Then I actually felt it going in my ass. And then I woke up and I was like, oh my God, I'm still in bed. Then I went to sleep again, the same thing happened. This time it went further up my ass. Thought I was done, back in bed. If this is a dream, I'm gonna be seriously hacked off. Right, here we go. I'm off to have a colonoscopy. I'm off to have a colonoscopy. We're in red lights. Do they not know I've got a colonoscopy? Oh yeah, I've got a colonoscopy. <laughs> Seriously? I've got a King Colonoscopy! Finally! I've got a colonoscopy! Here's the hospital. Yeah, my dad said to me, he said, Danny, don't worry, just think about Tash giving birth. That's exactly what I want to think about when I've got a camera up my ass. My sister's vagina. Right, I've just come out of it, and honestly, it ain't that bad. It really ain't that bad. I can't believe I've spent a week with anxiety, with nerves, literally myself and it was over in a flash okay so it hurt for a bit when they stuck it in <laughs> like that bit hurt but anything you know if you stick anything up your ass a carrot it's gonna hurt and so i was like oh no this is gonna be bad but then when he started going around the corners swerving around the curbs and stuff it was fine i said i wasn't gonna look and then i had a look and i've literally now seen inside of my ass it looks gnarly to be honest like you don't want to go in there anyway turns out there's nothing wrong with me I haven't got any cancer and stuff i think i've just got food intolerance i'm not going to eat any bad foods anymore and if you're wondering whether to get one done get one done like if it can save a life if, if a knobhead like me can do it why not why not you i might be buzzing a little bit from the gas and air because i sucked that really hard i sucked it off so hard oh yeah the last bit hurt a bit is where they had to twist the camera around to look the other way for some reason but all i did was suck the gas and air really hard sucked it really <laughs> sucked it. i sucked it so hard and he kept twisting it and it felt like something was something was going on inside of me it felt like i was pregnant and the baby was moving about but all i did was suck it really hard and the next thing i know they went right we're all done i think i'm a bit high maybe on the form it said it would take 30 to 45 minutes it literally took 15. and yeah the nurses were lovely big up the nhs big up the colonoscopy notice how i've learned how to say it i used to say colonoscopy. now i say colonoscopy <laughs> so yeah in conclusion if you're in any doubt about your bowel or your bowel ass or your ass tube or your large intestine or any of that stuff get one of these done i'll tell you what the worst part of it was the nerves i want to go to the pub now but they told me i'm not allowed to go to the pub i'm high as a f***ing kite thanks for watching guys i've been danny fried don't fry your life up like me see you next friday